Mayhew Animal Home has been around for nearly 125 years. We were established in 1886. Um, during that time we've helped thousands of animals, um, dogs, cats, rabbits and small animals as well, um, helping them to really escape um, a life of cruelty and neglect. Um, a lot of the animals come abandoned into us and we do um, rehoming. We also do a lot of community outreach work um, and deal with the social welfare issues as well as the animal welfare issues because the two are very intrinsically linked. We're also a proactive charity so we do low cost and free neutering schemes and um, we also do low-cost vaccinations on site. Um, we also have extensive education programmes um, where our animal welfare officers go out into the community and talk to different organisations and different people about um, animal welfare issues. Um, one of our unique selling points is that we never put healthy animals to sleep and um, as a result we will take care of them for as long as it takes to get them better and get them out into new homes. We have quite stringent adoption processes here for all our animals. Um, when they come in they're obviously um, a little bit distraught and we need to make sure that we find them the right home the first time round. So we have um, quite extensive adoption procedures that we go through. Um, we also have an on-site veterinary clinic and in that clinic um, we serve the public and the commun local community can come in for various treatments. We also have a team of animal welfare officers who work out in the community. Um, they do things like working with homeless people, crisis at Christmas. Um, they also go around um, residential care homes and take animals in to kind of brighten up the day of the residents. Um, and they do lots of trap, neuter and release programs with feral cats as well, making sure that all the cats are out on the street and neutered to stop any larger population explosion. We help literally thousands of animals every year. At any one time we have 150 cats and 35 dogs at the Mayhew and um, we do have a long waiting list of animals desperate to come in and find new homes as well. Um, the Mayhew relies solely on the generosity of the general public. Um, we don't get any government funding or lottery funding. Um, and it does cost us £3,400 every single day to keep the home running. We're a small charity, so every penny really does count. For example, um, five pounds can feed a cat in our care for a week, 10 pounds can feed a dog. Um, and the scale of our work here um, ranges from the very small right the way through to the large operations and um, long-term care that needs to happen before we can rehome our animals. We had a dog which we named Hobo who came in recently. Um, his front legs were parcel taped up and there was a terrible smell coming from his legs. So our veterinary team got straight onto it, um, put him under anaesthetic and took off the parcel tapes. And underneath we found that there was lots of um, tea towels and handkerchiefs where someone had actually decided to self-medicate um, the animal. Um, it's one of the things that we see quite a lot, especially in the recession. People can't afford veterinary costs, so they, they decide to go down this route. Um, the wounds underneath were absolutely dreadful, um, and we thought at one point we'd have to amputate the legs. Um, luckily, that wasn't the case. Um, we gave him long courses of antibiotics and nursed him back to health, um, and happily now he's out in a new home. Um, the treatment overall did cost around um, £2,000 um, for his time here. Um, but we never put a healthy animal to sleep. We always make sure that we do what it takes to get them back to health and get them out into a new home. There are various ways you can support the Mayhew. Um, you can go online and donate as a one-off um, at www.mayhewanimalhome.org um, or you can set up a regular gift. Um, we also have our Friends Membership screen where you get regular updates of all the animals in our care and an exclusive key ring. Um, and also you can sponsor a unit, so that's sponsoring a dog kennel or a cat cabin um, or a rabbit warren as well. Um, and within those facilities you'll get updates from the animals that are actually staying um, in the unit that you're sponsoring at any one time.